Gemini, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do a bi-weekly for you guys. Um, I just have a lot going on the next two weeks. So it's going to be a bi-weekly. It's going to go from September 25th through October 8th, 2017. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so Gemini... As you're praying over your cards for love, wealth, health, happiness. Well, September 25th through October 8th. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising signs. Beautiful. I am going to be doing the um, Celtic Cross spread for you guys, being that it's a bi-weekly. I'm using the Everyday, which is Tarot, by Deborah Blake. So, Gemini, those of you, first card out, two of cups, I'm liking it already. Um, those of you that would like to get a private reading from me, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle card message every single day to my Instagram, just for Instagram. So I would love for you guys to follow me there. The links to my website, social media is linked below, right underneath every single video. Oh, you guys end with the sun. Your overall energy is the Queen of Wands. Beautiful energy. I see you guys passionate. Very passionate. Fiery. Driven. Going after it. I see many of you taking control. Taking charge. Moving forward in some way. Taking action on things. started being creative you know sort of being passionate very creative for some of you there could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius that could be important you're coming into the first week with the two of cups so I think you're waiting on a relationship or a business partnership to come through. This is what you're very passionate about. You know, this relationship, you know, because we have we have the nine of wands in the crossing position. For some of you, you know, this is what you're waiting on. Maybe you're waiting on another person. You know, whether it's romantic or business, I do see you waiting with the Nine of Wands. You know, this is a person that you know, you've been waiting on probably for quite some time. The Nine of Wands is you having a lot of strength, courage. You know, this is you really persevering. And really, um, you know, especially in this card, you know, you're, you're not, you're not backing down. You're passionate, you're fiery, you're, you're sticking it out. It's definitely to do with another person. A partnership, a friendship that's very important to you right at the, the first, you know, right at the start of the week. And still waiting on this person. Maybe you're waiting for them to make a decision. But, I mean, you're ready. You're ready. You're standing your ground. You're not backing down. And... You know, maybe that's the challenge. You've had to wait for this person or you're still waiting on this person. 
Maybe you're waiting for them to make a decision or you could be waiting on this love with the Two of Cups. This is a very deep emotional connection that you have with one another. You know, this is reciprocated love. For those that are in a relationship or maybe you're taking a relationship to the next level, you know, maybe that is why you're why you've been having to wait. You know, you're dating someone, you've been waiting on that commitment. The Ten of Pentacles and the Foundation, it appears that you're in a very good place. You know, financially, this is financial abundance, success, this is having it all. You know, this is family, stability, security. Some of you could actually be moving to a new home. This could be maybe property or assets that you're waiting on. You know, maybe you and your partner are waiting on an offer to get accepted you know, with this nine of wands there could be something to do with finances or assets but this is definitely surrounding this partnership or this other person this could have been something stressful because you know I do have in the recent past the ten of wands you know, but the good thing, you know, I like it in, in the past. This is behind you. It's done. You know, this is a cycle that's completing. It's a 10. It's coming to an end. So whatever this is, you know, whether it's, you know, a marriage, a partnership, family relationship, something to do with property, Whatever it is for you, I, I see it coming to an end. I think you feel that, I think you feel that, I think some of you are, are waiting right at the start of the week. You're hanging in there and I feel like very strongly that this this weight is worth it it's worth the weight because crowning you is the six of wands success that's coming to you and I do think for many of you that there is a shift for you this is this is something amazing Something is definitely transforming for you this week. The first, this is the first week, and this will be the second half, the second week. So, but I mean, I see you very confident, passionate, fiery, and I think you feel very successful, you know, determined. You've been really fighting for what this, really fighting for this success to come through. I think you feel really proud of yourself. You hung in there. Maybe you fought for this. You've waited for this for a long time. Now, I mean, this is just beautiful. Now, the second part of the week, you have the Knight of Cups. This could be that offer, opportunity coming in. It's definitely something that fulfills you on an emotional level. For some of you, it could be romantic. That romantic offer that's coming through. This could be your partner offering you something. This could also represent someone from your past because the Knight of Pen the Knight of Cups is usually 99% of the time someone that you know and this person could be returning to your life extending an offer to you around the, around the second week this could be an offer for you know maybe even a new house a new job something that you're connected to emotionally 
and something that you would absolutely fall in love with. Okay? Hearts all over the place. There, there's no fish in this cup. Hearts. Okay? This is emotional. Alright, if it is fish, you know, it, it, it's it's got hearts on the on the fins. Gemini, just let me turn this air off real quick. I'm freezing. <coughs> so sorry. I think that's the second time I did that to you guys. Okay, um, but but I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful offer. Scorpio Cancer Pisces, if it's love, but beautiful. You have a beautiful reading, really. Now, coming up, how you see yourself is the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, this is an offer or opportunity coming in. It's definitely something that fulfills you on an emotional level. For some of you, it could be a romantic offer that's coming through. It could be you know, your partner offering you something. This could also be someone from your past, you know, because the Knight of Cups is always somebody that you know 99% of the time. Maybe you didn't have a romantic relationship with them, but maybe you worked, I mean, you worked with them, you know them. They're in your inner circle, they're around you. And you know, it's extending an offer to someone or vice versa. You know, for others of you, an, an offer on a new house, offer on a job, something that you're connected to emotionally. You know, with the Queen of Pentacles, this is your very grounded, practical, down to earth, you know, thinking, focused. Upon your, you know, thinking, you know, about your future, your security, stability, you're planning things out, and you're sitting very comfortably. It's a very comfortable, in a very comfortable place financially. I do think for some of you, you've been trying to move in with your partner, trying to move into a new home, and I do see many of you doing that. An offer is very important. It could be an offer of a job. Whatever it is, I definitely see you moving forward with the Six of Swords. Some of you, this is mentally moving forward. You know, moving from those turbulent times to much more calmer times. But literally, another sign got a similar. I think this card was in the same place, too. It's how you see yourself. I mean, you got your bags packed. You know... You got the sun shining above you, just like your outcome card, not to jump to jump the gun, but I mean, it's really just beautiful, Gemini. I mean, you got your shit packed, you're ready to go. You're moving. Right out of here, just like the Knight of Cups. You're both on the same page, you're moving right out. I like it a lot. Maybe moving up within the company that you work for. There's definitely movement that's taking place here. You're moving toward more harmony in your relationships. If you were, if you were dealing with issues in your relationships, you know, your partnerships, I see that definitely healing and you're moving forward. With the Four of Pentacles in your hopes and fears, Honestly, I just see you hoping for abundance, security. 
but the four of pentacles it's all it's all about having things literally especially in this deck having things built up some of you could be trying to save your money not spending it as much you know saving you know something that fall back on security does seem to be very important But also there there could have been someone or something, you know, that you've been holding on to, you know, really strongly. Not so much I don't feel like that in this deck, but you're definitely holding on to a thought. You're, th you're thinking about something heavily. Whether it's relationship or an idea, you know, something of value to you. You know, there could have been something that you were holding on to. You know, that's what you're hoping for. This could go both ways. You know, there's a person around you that, and that's what you're hanging on to tightly or something of value. You know, maybe you're, ho you're hoping that they release their, their grip, your, you know, like their, um, yeah, yeah, the, you know, you're hoping that they release their grip. You could be hoping for that. But over, but I mean, you end with the sun card. I mean, what a beautiful way to end the next two weeks. Amazing. Beautiful. Amazing. Next two weeks. The most positive card in the deck. Happiness, success, abundance, prosperity healing definitely healing from past difficulties you could be spending a lot more time outdoors spending more time with the family going on a a, a vacation to a, a very warm tropical beautiful place where the sun is just always shining. Children could be important. There could be something going on with children. Maybe you and your spouse have been trying to maybe move the family to a new home. But it is you coming out very successful here. The sun is absolutely shining on you guys this month. It's a beautiful spread. A beautiful month romantically if you and your partner have been trying to conceive beautiful time to absolutely give that a go and really just amazing king of wands Fiery, passionate, ambitious, again, excited, enthusiastic. Let's get an overall guidance card. These are um, mystical wisdom oracle cards. Just beautiful, beautiful cards. And I'm also going to pull you guys a romance angels card. For Gemini, sun, moon, and rising sign. Angels. Okay. Epiphany, see clearly. Another sign got this card. I just can't remember which one. So an epiphany, an epiphany, it's like the sun card could, you know, it's clarity. You, you have it here too, enlightenment. An epiphany is a sudden, you know, realization or 
spiritual flash that will change the way that you view yourself. You get to see the situation more clearly as if someone literally just switched on the light with this clarity. You know, you see the truth. You also gain a sense of control within yourself, you know, to where you make positive decisions. That's going to bring about happy and, and a joyful outcome. You know, you see th clearly things this over the next two weeks and you're absolutely passionate. I mean, you got, the, that's, wow. The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands underneath there. And another 10, the Ten of Swords, which really is endings and new beginnings. Because you are finally seeing things for what they are. And it's very just grounded and stable for you. Maybe a Leo is important at the end of the month. If I did, at the end of the week, the next the uh, second week, I'm so excited for you guys. I can't even speak. Like every reading, it's my energy. I think, and I don't know. I think you guys are my tenth sign. Every reading has been amazing. Wow, and you're my tenth sign, and you really are. Let me be a hundred percent sure on that. Yep, you are. You're definitely completing a cycle. That's not a coincidence. Whoa. Yes, this is your soulmate. So, whoever this is, whether it is, let me just say, this is, this feels... Um, very honest, loving, beautiful, heartwarming, very heartwarming love offer, emotional offer that fulfills you on. We're talking love here. That I mean, there's no sugarcoating this, okay? This is a love offer, and it's definitely a soulmate relationship, okay? I try to be as general as I can, but, you know, sometimes it is what it is. But as far as love, I, I do see this, uh, honestly, I'm going to be honest, as, as, you know, or, you know, I mean, it, it could be something that you, this job, this house, that you would absolutely be totally in love with. I mean, we got heart bubbles in the air, guys, okay? And, and water. Lots of water. Ocean of water. Tons of emotion. And it's beautiful. You could end up celebrating too with your friends. Having fun love the sun card in this deck just happy so so happy beautiful Gemini beautiful 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 reading all right guys leave your comments I love reading your comments even though I don't always get a chance to respond to them all I do read every single one so let me know how it turns out for you guys I don't pull the sun card too often but definitely amazingly beautiful reading. If it did not resonate, watch your moon, your rising signs. But I will see you guys back here very shortly. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.